Good day guys and welcome back to another tutorial in Luma Fusion. In today's video we're going to make a simple animated end screen using nothing but Luma Fusion. But if you want to add your own elements or if you want to have, uh, uh, you know, if you want to speed up the workflow a little bit without making everything from scratch in Luma Fusion, then head over to Google and just search for a PNG plus a square, a triangle, a circle, whatever you want to have in your image which you want to animate. If this is the first time that you check out my channel and my videos, I really appreciate that you clicked on this one. There is 500 other LumaFusion tutorials as well, so make sure to check out those. Everything is in a separate playlist. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, that would be highly appreciated. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers and that means 100k giveaway as well. And if you're interested in high-end professional transitions or assets or presets, effects, whatever you can imagine for LumaFusion, check out rubbishgivelogs.com. There is some good deals there which you don't want to miss. Now with that said, let's head over to the iPad and start creating a really nice nice looking animated end screen. So moving over to LumaFusion, we're going to create a new text layer and this text layer can be 10 to 15 seconds long depending on how long you want your end screen to be. After deciding the duration, we're going to go into edit on the text layer and we're going to create a new shape. This shape is going to be our background. So here you can select the color you want for your end screen. Now once we have the color set, we're going to go back out to the timeline. Then you can either make a new text layer or duplicate the one that you have on your timeline. I'm going to duplicate this and we're going to go into edit on this duplicated layer. Inside of edit, we're going to delete the background because we already have our background and we're going to create a new shape. You can decide for yourself if you want to make a plus or a circle, triangle, square or any other type of shapes. Now to make the plus, we're just going to add a square shape and we're going to change the parameters and size of the shape so we have one of the lines which is going to be in the plus. Now a pro tip is to go down to the bottom here on the parameters down to scale X and Y and adjust the settings by changing the sliders. This is a whole lot easier than using your fingers to adjust the shape. Now once we have the first line complete, we're going to duplicate this and change the rotation to 90 degrees. And once we change the rotation to 90 degrees, you will have a plus. Now you can also go over to Google and search for PNG pluses, PNG squares, or anything like that, which will be a whole lot faster. But inside of LumaFusion, you can actually customize it exactly how you want. But feel free to go and look for a PNG pluses or any other type of shapes that you want to have on your end screen. Now once we have our plus going over to frame and fit, we can see that our plus is sort of misplaced. So we cannot rotate this right now because it's going to be out of axis and it's not going to be centered. So we need to center the shapes before we add some rotation. So we're going to move back to the title section and then we're going to go up to the button right here, which is the alignment and we're going to tap on the crosshair in the middle to center the shape. We also need to do this with the second shape, so we're going to select that and recenter the shape. Now moving back to frame and fit and applying rotation, we will have the plus spinning around itself without being off angle. The next step is to resize the plus and place it where we want to have it on the screen. Then we can move back to the title section and change the color of the plus if we want this to be a different color than white. And once we have this, we can go back over to frame and fit and make a keyframe at the beginning and a keyframe at the end. On the end keyframe, we can change the rotation to something like 900 and we will now have the uh, plus spinning around itself in the bottom left corner. Now, if you want more than just one shape in your end screen, you will have to duplicate this layer or create a new one and then change the placement of the shape. So what I'm doing here is to change the placement, then delete all the keyframes and I adjust the last keyframe only and change the rotation of this. You can also change the rotation to go the other way and you can also slow down the rotation or speed it up by adding more values to the rotation parameters.
So now that we have our three moving pluses, we can go back to the bottom layer and we can create a frame which is going to be around our video. Now a pro tip here is to go over, watch your own video or watch someone else's video and then take a snapshot on your iPad from the end screen and then move that over to LumaFusion and then it's going to be easier to see exactly how big or small this frame is going to be. So this is just an example of how you can make it. The exact frame size, uh, I'm not exactly sure of the frame size, uh, but you can, like I said, take a snapshot of an end screen at the end of a video, your own or someone else's, and then you can bring this over to LumaFusion, lower the opacity, and then you can place your shape exactly where it should be. Now, I like to have the frame only, so I don't like to have the background here. So what I'm going to do is to increase the opacity of the edge color to 100, and I'm also going to change the color to yellow. Now I can change the opacity of the face color, and that will leave me with the frame only. So now that we adjusted the frame, if we want to have two videos in our end screen, we can simply duplicate this and then go down to the center X and move this to the right. This will keep it on the same height as the first one, so you will only move the center from left to right. Now to spice this up, we're also going to add a new shape and we're going to add an arrow. We're going to angle these arrows underneath each image and then place a text in between the two arrows saying watch these. Now to spice this up even more, we're going to add some shadow to all the elements which we have on our screen to give it a little bit more depth. And we're going to do this by going down to the shadow color, change the opacity to around 75, and we're going to keep the distance between 5 and 10, and the blur around 30. This will give a nice look to the text and the elements that we have in our image. As a final touch, we can add a subscribe text on top of the screen. So we're going to duplicate the text, watch this, change the text to subscribe, and then we're going to use the center Y to position it upwards. Make sure that you have the center X at 50 because that is going to be the center of the screen. Now once we have our desired position, we can change the text to, to something like black and we can add a new shape and move this shape to be behind the subscribe text. Make sure that you don't move it all the way to the top because the top layer is the background layer. So if you move this all the way to the top, it's going to be behind the gray background which we have on our screen. So make sure that you have it underneath the top layer so it's behind everything including the text. So after changing the position of the shape, we can now adjust it so we have a box around the subscribe text. We can also change the color of the box shape to something like yellow so it matches the other elements on the screen. We can also add some shadow to it if we want to do that. But I think the color of the background is a little bit too bright so we're going to change this to a darker gray. And then we will have our final animated end screen in Luma Fusion. Now there's also a lot of different ways that we can animate the different elements which we have on the screen here. So if you want to see a fully animated end screen video tutorial, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, like I said, there is a ton of different ways that you can make an end screen and there's a ton of different ways that you can animate it. If you want to see a fully animated pop-up end screen animation, something like that in Luma Fusion, I think it, the tutorial is going to be a little bit heavy. Heavy, I might make the animation for you so you can just apply to the different elements that you want to to have uh, or something like that I still have to figure that out but uh, let me know down in the comment section below what type of animation or end screen or if you want to see it or any other tutorials that you want to to see in Luma Fusion. That's going to be the end for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what type of videos. I'm just going to end it. I will see you in the next video.